Yellow and welcome to I'm a nice guy, you beep. Let's see which. You beep. Yeah, I guess that's the one. Yeah, yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah, uh, things that are pulled from the internet, um, just of overall toxicity. So, the first one we are going to be going over is... Women are not sexual objects. <laughs> yes, this photo. Uh, and the oh. person says, ho, oh, okay. And then, it is joint, it is with this whole... Oh, <laughs> 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 Don't dress in a way that is sexualized, then. This is like me wearing really skinny jeans and complaining about women are looking at my junk. Actually, you know what? Oh my let god, me, no. Hold on, hold on. I have let so let many things read, to say about this. Let me read, let me no, read the mail. false. Mail. Let me, okay, fine. Okay. Do you know how many times I have been walking my dog, looking like a, a hobo, looking like a full-on potato gremlin, and I have people rolling down their windows, catcalling me. I literally have it on camera somewhere, saved in my Snapchat archives. Oh my god. And I yelled, I yelled, does this work for you? Like, does this work for you? Can you send me that, and I will actually add it into this video. I will try, I will, I will try, I will try my best to find it. Honestly, I get caught, I get cat called more when I look like a hobo than I'm, when I'm like. Dressed to the nine. Yeah, like initiate ho phase. I'm just saying. Okay. You can scratch that. You can bleep whatever word out I'm you need to. It. I'm just saying. If I'm like in a, it doesn't matter if I'm in a little skimpy dress or I'm in sweatpants. They still be coming. Right. Well, it's because they want to know what breed your dog is. That. Yeah. Yeah. But. That's besides the point. I mean, that's why I'd roll down my window. I'd be like, "Hey, can I pet that dog?" I do have old people asking me. Is that an Alaskan Malamute? I'll be like, hey, can I pet that dog? Okay, so who are you reading? Oh, I was going to read the males, and it, but they're all, they're all males. So don't worry. I'm going to read Kyle, and then you can read Jess. Oh my god, I love this Jess person. Okay, yeah, all right. Uh, I'm going to read Kyle. Kyle says, bro doesn't understand the object observation paradox with regards to the individual as perceived. Ironic. Of course not. I don't. Am I stupid? I don't understand that whole paragraph. Bas uh, basically saying uh, it doesn't matter... That's too many big words <laughs> in one sentence. <laughs> it's basically saying uh, to each their own, basically. like Okay. You, you, what you view as attractive may not be as viewed as attractive to somebody else. Something like that. Well, I, if, you, if you literally put it in that exact sentence, I mean, that makes sense. Some people are attracted to things that other people aren't attracted to. Right. Right. Okay, so he's not a butthole. No, no, Kyle is, like, saying, like... For once in our life, Kyle, Jess says, Bro, I was catcalled as a 13-year-old wearing a snow... A, a snow snoot... Snow... Snow... A snow snoot? Snow snoot. <laughs> a snow suit! Men do not care what you're wearing. They will sexually harass you regardless. Okay. Hey, what's a snow snoot? <laughs> It's like one of five words that I struggle with, and of course it's in this, this freaking, this freaking thing. Um, yeah, big agree. Also, can we big talk agree. about? Can we talk about how this person was thirteen years old? Like literally, it does not. Why did you tell me to do this video? I'm like, I'm stressed. <laughs> I have stress. I feel like it's not hard to be a, a decent human being. And wait, wait, okay, hold on. I'm gonna play devil. I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Be careful. I'm going to. Be careful. Okay, because there's like the thing going around, like with men. I'm gonna say, like you know, the whole gray sweatpant era thing. Okay. Like that was like big on TikTok. Like men wearing like just gray sweatpants and being able to see your junk through like gray sweatpants. Okay. And people were like, if I want to wear gray sweatpants, I should be able to. But like. It was sexualized, so it can kind of go. It just sucks because what you wear shouldn't equate to like what people think about you. But unfortunately, 
no matter who you are or who you like identify as it happens and just yeah. it just happens more to females in my humblest opinion or maybe it does happen to males a lot oh, it does and to to you, they don't spe speak speak yeah, up about it not, it's not spoken up about or it's not as um but this guy this 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 guy is basically saying like well like what was she wearing did she ask for it like she's he's one of those people yeah this, it, which this is disgusting ass, this, a, this AV person yeah. yeah um and then uh this next person says <laughs> yeah men are simpson will hug literally banana trees true story it happened in my country but at the same time you can't complain about a certain <laughs> video game character being sexualized and then dressed in a similar attire and say you're not asking to be sexualized a fictional character cannot give consent but you can. So if a fictional character's outfit sexualizes them, then so does your outfit. What? What? Wait, what? What? But at the same time, you can't complain about a certain video game character being sexual. First of all, we're not complaining about... I mean, I can't speak for all women. But we're not complaining about video game characters being sexualized. We're complaining about the bullshit armor that female characters get that's what we complain about i'm just saying like the or armor the, point the, system the insane form-fitting dresses or outfits that video game characters have that would never work in real life yeah like we're not we're not battling dragons in like this tight it just doesn't it just that's what we're complaining about so uh all right so that's kind of the end of that one we're going to take a, a small break for puppy videos and then we'll continue from there. All right, this one was pulled for Reddit, and this one is a revenge one. And I personally think that it is a lot of toxicity all the way around. But I want to know your thoughts on it. So, um, this. So I'll, I'll read it now. This one is short, and I'll never admit it in real life. Oh, thank gosh. <laughs> to make a long story short, I once had to break up from hell. We were together for a year, and then he dumped me out of the blue. Oh God, let me tell you about a break up from hell. <laughs> Screwed me out of some money, and I later found out there was another woman involved. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is this my life right now? <laughs> is this your story? Holy shit. It was, it was even worse because I, I had no support network where we were living. I did not write this. I swear to you. So I also made the hard choice to quit my job with oh no God. backup and move back to my hometown. I lost everything. So I fooled around with his dad. Oh well, I did not do that. Are you sure? <laughs> Oh my god, Queen! I ruined their father-son relationship and he was pretty upset. His dad was fine with it because apparently this was a pattern, pattern behavior with his son. And he was sick of it. He was actually the one who told his son. And he made sure to tell him in a very petty way. So, before you say anything, <laughs> I personally think that this was not, like... I think it was toxic all the way around. What he did to her was not right any way, shape, or form, but what she did as well, and then along with the father, was also very kind of toxic. Because, like, now granted, I don't know the, the conclusion of this relationship with the woman and this father. Uh, they could still be together. Or it could have just been like, hey, I'm going to be doing this until I get what I want and then I'm going to move on. And then you're playing around with a multitude of other people's feelings. Okay, hear me out. What if the other woman was his mom? What does that mean? I'm just... This looks like a case of childhood trauma. This looks like the... Like, this is what happens when you are a crap parent like i understand that you okay i say queen like oh my god i fooled around with his dad like that it's like really like it's queen energy but in a very toxic way like please don't do this uh but also like it's 
the fact that the dad like told his son and it probably was like you know over like spaghetti dinner like family dinner or when i'm like oh like what'd you do this week <laughs> oh i your ex or whatever i'll delete that don't worry yeah, i know and you know you know but it what behavior like was the dad upset because the son was constantly cheating on his girlfriend so he felt the best way to like teach his son a lesson was to sleep with his girlfriend i personally think that the dad just wanted to sleep with the the lady i think that's what it boiled down boils down to i don't think that it was i need to teach my son a lesson so i'm going to do this i think it was hey i have an opportunity and i'm going to take it i think that's 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 how i view this to be honest with you I don't know. I don't know. To me, it's, it's toxic. I think it's I'm so. Toxic. I think I'm so taken back because the first paragraph is like my, my life. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was you. Actually. It's like literally my life. Like so, all my money gave. Like there was another woman. The only thing I'm missing, like other than I didn't his dad, was like he took my dog. But it's. I mean, it is. It's toxicity all the way around, and we can joke about like how it's a queen status, but obviously it's not. And I really think it's some form of probably childhood trauma, and they need some actual like father son healing bonding, not over like. Do you imagine like bonding over that? Like you want to bond with your kid, and like the thing you're bonding with is like the same person you are sleeping with. Are sleeping with? Right. No, mind you, they're not sleeping. With to, and then who knows what the age difference is? Well, it's going to be at least... Never mind, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to make it so much. I can only... I, we don't want to look too far I, into I this. I hope it's at least 18 years difference. I would at least hope. At minimum. I feel like they're young because I feel like, like if I was younger... And obviously, I'm clearly like an old lady right now. <laughs> you're, um, you're, you're so old. Like, this would be me energy. Like, you know what? I did all this, and you know what? So I f***ed his mom. Like, that's, that's... You just bleep it out. Yeah, I will. Bleep it out. Like, I just... Uh, I, That would be me when I was younger. Me now, I would still get petty revenge, but I wouldn't do it in a way that, like, puts myself into trauma. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because, like, you can't tell me that there's no trauma there, like, you banging his, your dad, his dad, not your dad. I mean, there'd be, there'd be even more trauma there if you were banging your dad. I'm just, I'm just saying. But, but, like, I don't, the world is wild. Alright, so, alright, I think we're gonna close on this one and go on to the next one. But in the meantime, why don't we take a puppy break? Okay, so I'm taking over this last one because uh, I got things to say. Uh, this was clipped from a YouTube video in which the bride, who was a mattress actress and her longtime, I guess, partner, uh, got married. And obviously, we know what the comments are going to be like. But we're going to focus on the comments of wearing white because the bride wore white. Um, and I guess. Something, something, something. White came back when, like, the monarchy and Queen Victoria and all, all that good stuff. But um, this Danny Nightblade four five nine two says white is about purity slash virginity. They are one and the same when it comes to a bride. Being a virgin also has a huge impact on a successful marriage. Women don't view sex the same way. Men view sex. Agree. Agree. Agree with that. Uh, women's brains are also high world to love the first person they sleep with. What? No. Which is why women with multiple partners before marriage bring on the majority of divorces. That's a lot to unpack. Okay, should I just read the rest and then talk about yeah, it? Yeah, okay. let's just read the rest. Then, next person. Women's brains are hardwired to love the first person they sleep with. Okay, that's in quotations. Okay, okay. That's some goofy... Pseudoscience. pseudoscience right there i don't know why i panicked at that word i was gonna i was gonna say f with pseudo 
<laughs> Science right there. Are women also hardwired to cook and clean and do whatever a man commands her to do as well? That's so silly. That's so silly. So I re- uh, oh, sorry, and then the, the last per- comment is humans are not naturally monogamous. Both men and women, we also have the ability to pair bond with as many people as we please. We're not voles. I, I, de- I, de- what is that? I don't. I don't know. I don't. No, the last time I thought about my first boyfriend until now, thanks to you. Okay, let's bippity boppity back the F up with how everyone's very upset that this mattress actress got married. Number one, I've we're going to talk heard, about that for a second. I've never heard of mattress actress prior to you, by the way. So thank you for that. You're welcome. So, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going to just put this out there. So, you want to know why people are so upset? People are upset because. Well, there's probably multiple reasons, but but I I think the I think the biggest reason why people are upset that it's not even that she got married, it's the fact that she showed that she got married is that it breaks that almost like third wall, fourth wall or whatever you want to call it, second wall. I don't know. It breaks it breaks the illusion. First wall. It breaks the illusion that like this person is obtainable. Um, you know, this person could be like yours. It just like breaks that illusion. And I think a lot of um creators in general uh you know choose to only share certain aspects and parts of their life because of situations like this. Um I'm a YouTuber and I share like I share my life. But that might not be my life. I could be sitting here breastfeeding a newborn baby with three babies sleeping already, three kids, two dogs, a hamster, five husbands. You don't you don't know. Like you don't know. You only see what I want to show you. So the fact that this person who is obviously very well known is showing like, hey, like I actually did this thing, they're break it's like breaking that like Oh my gosh, I could have had that obtainability and now I can't. Which obviously you can't have that obtainability, but that's just how certain things work. So I think that's why a lot of people are upset. I think, okay, I agree with that, but there's also other areas why I feel like people are upset. And number one, I think uh, a lot of people feel like women cannot sleep around, but men can. Yeah, there's definitely a stigma between, like, if you are a. If you're a woman and you slept with like a hand like a handful of people, it's kinda like Ugh. but if you are a male and you like go talk to your friends or whatever and you're like, Oh yeah, I slept with like four people this weekend, it's like, yeah, high fives you know? Mm-hmm. I personally think that is a really dumb ideology to have. Uh I feel like if you're gonna celebrate one and then shame the other, I think that's sh- that shouldn't be it should be a straight line all the way around i mean society sucks but then let's go on like the white thing white like it's just a color. i don't think that it's just a color yeah i don't think white so for the most think, part it doesn't hold the same thing that it used to no back in the and i'm back, back in, in the, the day, day back in the day it meant so much when it meant when your grandpa walked to school both ways in his the, father's pajamas uphill both ways in like a snowstorm right like it just was a different time and it's okay to like evolve like right. pur- purple was what purple was the color of royalty. royalty yeah um and now it's like purple is like a girl color like men can't like purple <laughs> you know and it's just see, everything is wearing purple no but i'm just saying like time like like things have just changed with the times yeah, is what i'm getting at get your point anyone can wear purple nowadays whereas before it used to be a sign of royalty. right so these people are basically saying like oh okay so white is about purity and virginity and obviously this master this mattress actress is not a virgin so she shouldn't be wearing white right which is yeah. hogwash now mind you this is just a clip of this one there was so much more in the comments about I don't even care. I don't even I, care this about... Is, this is one of the things that really kind of just got under my skin. But, like, what are you... So, so why... You see grooms all the time. The grooms aren't... Grooms are wearing a black suit. What the, what the hell does that mean, then? Does it mean, oh, I slept with a bunch of people, too? Does that say I, I did not sleep with a bunch of people? Like, that goes back to the whole women can't sleep with whoever they want, but men can. Oh, it's just a formal color. Oh! It means wealth According and to Google, 
it can also represent wealth and exclu exclusivity. exclusivity. Bring a sense of sophistication and luxury to a wedding. I mean, I feel like men just wear a suit because if they showed up in Bermuda shorts, their person that they were marrying is probably going to be upset at them. I'm gonna Unless they're having like a beach wedding. I'm going to, well, there's got to be a black suit like top like a black bermuda jacket shirt. yeah with the with this bermuda and shirts. that's the guys that you slept with at least five people yeah i think that's what it boils down to um but yeah so getting back on topic okay but yeah back back on top let's talk so about the second person is definitely like women's brains are also hardwired to love the first person they sleep with so that's the first person that's the first person the second yeah. person is defending uh, defending women and their right to choose and all this other stuff with who they sleep with and just because you sleep with a lot of people doesn't mean that you lose value. Um, but yes, the first person said a woman's brains are also hardwired to love the first person to sleep with. That's not necessarily no, true. No, it's not necessarily tr like, true at all. I mean, for me personally, the first person that I did sleep with, like I did love. Like that was my first love. You know, like your high school sweetheart. Right. you like whatever. But then after that, like after we broke up, like I was a whore. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, to each your own. And and well, no, because I, it was like after that, after that, after that moment that like you you are like raised, you're like a, you're raised, you're raised to believe like you have to like this, this one person and like this is so important and then that one person important thing happened, and then we broke up, and then then what? Yeah. But that doesn't mean that doesn't that doesn't happen for everybody. There's multiple. My friends were like, literally eighth grade, doing the doing the stuff. I was like the cool. I ended up being the cool kid because I was not. I was not. I like left the popular people. I was like, I'm not about this life. I don't even know what. I don't even know what half of this is. Shocking as it may be, that was not my life. Like I. <laughs> And they were just like, it was just something you do for fun. Like, oh, what are you doing Friday night? Oh, humping Jack. Like, but they didn't, like, it's just wrong. We're not hired, hard to, we're not hired, hard wired to do anything. Yeah, exactly. I think, okay, let's just kind of end it right here in the aspect of, I personally think women should be able to do whatever makes them happy within reason. No, that's Unless, as long as it's legal. <laughs> no, I'm what it boils down to is women should be happy and men should be happy. You're right. Or any gender in between should be happy. Just whatever brings you happiness. Mm -hmm. And if that is getting married and wearing white, even though you've probably been with hundreds of people, then so yeah. be it. What is that? Is what, 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 what does it hurt? How does that, it hurt? How does, that how does it hurt the world? How does that hurt? How does this hurt Danny Nightblade 4592? Exactly. You know? I think we should be focusing on more important things like why a, why a carton of eggs is $8 or why a gallon of milk is $5. Or, or that aliens are real. Or Yeah, <laughs> why the aliens are real. O over that mattress actress, as you who, like to yeah, say, who, is who wears white. white. Who cares? All right. Well... I appreciate you coming on here and talking with me. Um, oh, we got a pause, pause for our final. Real talk. <laughs> we got a pause for our final puppy segment. This is my puppy, by the way. Well, one of my puppies. The white one. <laughs> the white one who's pure and a virgin. <laughs> he's, he's not, actually. He's a little. He's a little. He's a little. Home record. He's a little wild. He's, he's a little, little home wrecker. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, anyways, it was nice for you to come on. I appreciate you uh, sharing your views with me. Um, this is, I'm a nice guy, you witch, and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. You can say goodbye. Bye.